What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist and I'm back at it to bring you 40 facts on the Warhammer 40k universe. As always, I am the Sound Alchemist and I'm here to bring you some lore on some characters. This time, it is Tigurius, the chief librarian of the Ultramarines, aka the Ultra Smurfs. But before we get into his lore, here is a pretty awesome quote from Varro. It cannot be considered a gift to peer into the warp and unravel the possibilities of the future that are, that might be, and that must be prevented. Nor can the burden of a weapon that each of my brothers looks upon with girdled revulsion be called a gift. No, master, I do not think my psychic prowess a gift, but a tool. Whether by a quick of faith or by the will of the emperor, I possess a weapon the like of which can turn the tide, not just in a battle, but in the course of history. To withhold it, to flinch from its use or deny it, would not be counterproductive. It would be heresy. But if it is a gift, it is a crucial one. Pretty badass, a little bit of insight as to what it is to be a psyker in the 41st millennium. So without further ado, let's jump into his lore. Born on McCrag, Tigurius' parents submitted their son to the marshals of induction at the fortress of Hera. He was quickly recognized as a psyker, and his powers of foresight during training exercises was initially seen as cheating. During his aspirant days, his training overseer was Orton Cassius. Eventually, due to his supernatural perceptive nature, he was taken in by the chapter Librarius, quickly becoming a lexicanum. During his early years in the chapter, Tigurius' insight and perceptiveness saved his battle brothers on countless occasions, allowing him to rise through the ranks pretty quickly. His most notable early accomplishment was in the Altor Crusade. Later serving in the 5th Company, he led a strike force against seven sorcerers of Hararka, using his psychic abilities to best all seven sorcerers at the same time. In the wake of this battle, Tigurius became famous within the chapter and became close friends with Ortesis and rose to the rank of Kodasher. After aiding the Ultramarine's fleet in predicting the movements of the Orcs and High Fleet Behemoth, Tigurius rose to the prestigious position of Chief Librarian. However, since his induction, Tigurius has always been a man of heart, despite his decades of service to the Ultramarines. He lacks the camaraderie and easy familiarity found between other members of his chapter, and they regard him with emotions ranging from wariness to suspicion. But such is the curse of being a psyker. Space Marine librarians are the most rigorously screened and conditioned of all psychers, allowing them to serve in the Imperium. Even the smallest hint of corruption in the librarian may become a conduit to the evils of the war. Tigurius exemplifies this strict outlook. In his mind, there is nothing more dangerous than incomplete knowledge, or a mind untrained to absorb it. In person, he always stays lithe and often answers questions with another question, seeking to lead his interrogator to discover the correct answer himself and realize the deeper meaning of the knowledge he has received. As a rule, the Ultramarines are warriors, not philosophers, and this habit of their chief librarian is often an added source of tension. In all of the Imperium, Tigurius himself is quite unique. He has the ability to foresee tactical events and invasions by the enemy before they actually happen, oftentimes giving Kalgar the opportunity to counter them before they even begin. These mysterious premonitions usually come in the form of dreams or small seizures, but where most people would see this as a gift, there are few within the Imperium that are suspicious and perceive it as delving into the dark ways of chaos. However, the Chief Librarian's loyalty to the Emperor is clearly unquestionable, and his knowledge of the galaxy, coupled with the prescience granted by a psychic ability, has proved invaluable to the chapter time and time again. It was thanks to Tigurius that the war fleets of war boss Mad Bracca and war master Neodar were annihilated the instant they emerged from the warp, and their planned attacks on Ultramar became nothing. Tigurius can oftentimes see more than what's about to become. 
he can often shape the future of events so clearly as to guide the Ultramarines' tactical dispositions to counter them entirely. Marnius Calgar has often said that without Tigurius' counsel, High Fleet Behemoth would have overwhelmed the Ultramarines during the battle for Macrag. He is one of the foremost experts on fighting orcs in the Imperium, and has guided Lord Calgar on the best ways to strike at the Orc Empire. As Chief Librarian, Tigurius is responsible for the Library of Ptolemy and the guardianship of its continents, including the manuscript of the Codex Astartes, penned by Robute Gilliman himself. Tigurius's other accomplishments include being one of the very few to have witnessed the arrival of the mysterious Legion of the Damned. In battle, Tigurius's withdrawn manner disappears, oftentimes being replaced by the fury and valor of a true warrior. Using his psychic powers to devastating effects, Tigurius is an awesome sight, and he has inspired exhausted space marines to new heights of valor, as shown during the orc invasion of Boros, also during the Damnos incident, where he assumed leadership of the second company after Captain Sicarius was critically wounded. In recent years, however, Tigurius has turned his powers towards the Tyranid high fleets menacing the Imperium. The sheer accuracy of his predictions about the movement and intents of the Great Devourer had led many to believe that Tigurius has managed to penetrate the hive mind itself, something only a psyker as powerful as the Emperor could withstand without going insane. If this is indeed true, then Tigurius may well be the most powerful active psyker in the Imperium, second only to the immortal God Emperor himself. During the invasion of Ultramar, this was arguably Tigurius' famous moment. Although he failed to foresee the arrival of Chaos Force, known as the Bloodborne, his prescience allowed him to dictate the disposition of the chapter's forces in a manner that eventually led them to victory. Tigurius himself accompanied Marnius Calgar and First Captain Agamon to Talisar, where his abilities were crucial in holding the fortress of Castra Tanagra, secure from the repeated waves of demonic creatures. During each of the attacks, Tigurius grew weaker, as each use of his psychic abilities to combat the demons weakened him more and more. Eventually, this advanced so much that he could not recover from his own psychic attacks. After weeks of siege, the outer walls of the fort were overrun, but Tigurius marshaled his power into one last gigantic blast and drove the demons back. He also created a psychic barrier that kept the demons at bay allowing the first company to fall back to the inner keep. Tigurius himself fell into a coma as he hovered near death for the next several weeks, with no apothecary present who could tend to him. When the chief librarian was at his lowest ebb, the barrier fell, and the demon prince Makar arrived in person to invade the fortress and hunt Kalgar. The demon critically wounded Captain Agamon and held Kalgar helpless, but just then, Tigurius regained consciousness. Though he was too weak to move on his own, a dozen courageous human refugees supported his weight and helped him to the scene of combat, where he issued a psychic blast that drove the demon from the fortress and severed his connection with the warp core of the Star Fort Indomitable. Tigurius brought Kalgar and the survivors of the First Company the brief respite they needed to rally for a final charge against the demon. Before the battle, however, Tigurius had predicted that Captain Urio Ventris recently would return from a death elf to the Eye of Terror, and he would play a critical part in this battle's outcome. He was correct. Ventris and the fourth company of Ultramarines arrived from Kalth, bearing the true name of Makar and the ancient dagger that had taken his mortal life. Armed with these, Kalgar destroyed the essence of the demon, granting it a true death and the Ultramarines emerged victorious. In the rise of the Primarch storyline, during the Ultramarine campaign, McCrag once again fell under chaos invasion, this time by the Black Legion. During the fighting, Tigurius convinced Kalgar to accept the plan by Belisarius' call to try and resurrect Robute Gilliman. For the chief librarian had been haunted by grave visions and knew that desperate measures were required. After Gilliman's resurrection, Tigurius was left behind in Ultramar by the Primarch along with Kalgar to defeat the remaining Chaos forces. 
And now, let's talk about the war gear of Varro Tigurius, starting with his Hood of Hellfire. The Hood of Hellfire is an enhanced psychic hood, which enhances his already formidable psychic powers. The Rod of Tigurius is an intricate and ornate force weapon used by the Chief Librarian of the Ultramarines. It enables Tigurius to channel his psychic powers into devastating attacks, especially in close combat. With this weapon, he rarely misses. It is said that it was recovered from beneath the Great Bastion on Andraxus, and some say it even maybe belonged to Malkador the Sigilite, aka Malkador the Hero. He also carries a bolt pistol and frag and crack grenades into battle. And with that, we have come to yet again the end of another 40 Facts video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Tigurius. Is he really the strongest psyker in all of the Imperium? Does that mean he's stronger than the Grey Knights? Also, if you guys do play him on the tabletop, how strong is he? Is he pretty good? I think so, since uh, now with all the uh, Primaris Marines and Kalgar and Sicarius, the Ultramarines got a pretty good force right there. A bunch of strong Marines that... Uh, Matt Ward would be proud of. <laughs> anyway guys, let me know what other characters, war gear, or anything else 40k related that you want some more 40 facts on. Don't forget to hit us up on our social media sites, our Patreon site, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where there's epic content for you guys. Also, keep tuned with us on Facebook because we post all the information that leaks out about 8th edition. And that's all really I have for you guys today. As always, I'm the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today, I am also signing out like always.